In this video, I'm going to talk about the LISP, LISP or Cisco Locator IT Separation Protocol. What is the LISP? I'm going to introduce LISP in this video. And after that, in the future videos, we will talk about the configuration of the LISP and also verification of the LISP and other important topics about this useful feature LISP or Cisco Locator ID Separation Protocol. You know that every technology has a beginning that involves trying to solve a problem. Okay, the problem might be to invent a new concept device or a new system or the technology might be an effort to improve an existing system okay understanding the problem a particular technology is trying to solve helps you understand its possible function and applications let me to talk about some of the shortage that we have in ip networking okay and after that in future videos you will learn how we can solve these problems let me start with one example in this example i am going to show you one of the shortage of the ip or internet protocol let me talk about this here we have a simple scenario in this simple scenario in this simple network we have three rotors rotor one rotor two and rotor three as you can see we have a server and two client client one client two here we have a connection between the client one and server this means that we have one application where for example in the server here we have one application such as the http or uh, for example ftp or some other application okay and we need to give information we need to give some files uh, some uh, for example data from this server in the uh, computer one because of that now we have one established connection between the computer one and also the server okay you know that here we are using the source IP of this pack. We are using for source IP of these packets the IP address of the computer one. Assume that the IP address of computer one is 192.168, for example, 110 slash 24. Because of that, the source IP that we are using in this packet is 192.168.1. 10 you know it okay and the destination ip is the ip of the server okay the ip of server is not important now for us but now we have a session from the source ip of the computer to destination ip that is the ip of the server and until now we don't have any problem assume that the computer one should move to the uh, for example this network let me to I give a name to these networks. This is a network A or net A, okay? The network connected to router one, and here the net B, okay? Connected to the router two. Assume that the computer one should move to these networks. For example, maybe this is a wireless connection, okay? And we are roaming from the network A to network B. This means that we need to change our location from here to here from net a room to the net b room okay it's possible now the computer one is uh, residing in the network b and you know that because th the computer one now is residing in network b the ip address of computer one should be changed to the for example 192 168 210 this means that our connection to the server should be teared down okay and after that again we need to establish new connection and this means that if you are using wireless connection for example wireless roaming here the connection should be teared down again should be established and this means that we have some problems about our communication about our receiving and sending and data okay you know it you know we for host mobility we have some problems in ip networks also maybe in uh, in another problem maybe this is a vm or virtual machine as uh, assume that here we have a vm in this computer a uh, vm1 okay and we need to use some features such as the v motion in the vmware to sending to uh, transporting the vm1 from the c1 to c2 again the ip address of the vm1 now is changing because of that the vm1 uh, should establish the new connection with the server you know that 
the IP address when you are moving from one network to another network should change and because of that the all of the connections that you have should be teared down and after that you need to establish the new connection and this is not a good choice for uh, for example roaming for host mobility we can't move from one uh, site of the one site one uh, part of our networks to the other parts without any uh, interruption what is the reason why we need to tear down the connection the application service from the computer one to the server one it's easy the reason is that we need to change the ip address and because our session before established with our, our old ip address and now our ip address uh, are changed uh, are, we need to establish new connection this is our problem let me to talk about a little more with more detail about this problem look at here you know that uh, when c1 residing in the net a okay it should use this subnet look at here the subnet or subnet id of this network is 192.168.10/24 and after that you know that the ip address uh, of the uh, C1 is one IP in this network. It's mandatory. You can't use, for example, in this network 192.168.2. You need only use 192, okay, 192, for example, 168, 110, one IP address from this range, okay? It's so easy and you can understand it, okay? But here, the IP address is uh, has two functions. Let me talk about these two functions. The first function is that with this IP address, we can, uh, we can uh, identify the location or uh, for locator or location of the, uh, for example, C1. This means that we can say, where is C1? The C1 now is residing in the network 192.168.10 because of that with ip address we have one information that is where okay or the location of the ip address also beside of this information we have another information with this ip address and that is the identifier or id let me to write identifier or id of the c1 this means that who okay this is the who means who is the owner of this ip address uh, look at here when we say the ip address of c1 is 192.168.110 here you, we have two uh, for example part in this address first the location the location involved the sub the for example subnet id and the identifier identifies the host you know it as you remember in ccna course we learned about uh, the subnet id and host id subnet id identifies the network or location host identifies the or unix the computer the pc the hosts and this is the identifier because of that with one ip address you are uh, identifying two things first the location of pc and also the location of host and also the identifier and or unique uh, one unique uh, identifier for each host but here with this uh, method we have some problems what is the problem when you are changing the uh, computer one from the uh, for example net uh, net a we are roaming the computer one from net a uh, to net b actually uh, we are changing both the identifier and location in ip networks why look at here you know that when the c1 is residing in net a okay the identifier and location means the ip address of this pc is 192.168.110 okay and when the c1 moves or roam to the net b okay the identifier or the ip address of this pc is uh, for example 192.168.210 with this ip address you can identify the look you can find the location of the new location of c1 okay and also you can find the uh, for example one unique identifier for this pc okay this means that in ip networks we don't have any separation between the location and also the uh, 
uh, for example, identifier means between the where and who property. Uh, 